Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Welcome to IT Pro TV. This is CEH version 11. I'm Kathy Chambers alongside Daniel Lowry. Hola, everyone. It is a beautiful day to talk about cybersecurity. It is. Would indeed. you agree? I would totally agree, right? We're having a good time today. We're going to get into the uh, the mix a little bit. This being our inaugural episode ba -ba -ba of CEH V11. It's long anticipated. And it's finally here. I hear there are five elements. There are. Yeah. So what are the five elements we're going to be chatting about? Yeah. So these are the five elements of cybersecurity. Uh, these are the kind of the foundational stones that make up cybersecurity. They include the ideas of but not limited to, but mostly limited to, the five elements of confidentiality, integrity, availability, authenticity, and wait for it, non-repudiation. All right, so I have heard of the CIA triad. Okay. Now, is this part of this conversation? It is, actually, right. in, in a roundabout way, actually. So it's kind of like the precursor to there being five elements. Before there were five, there were three, and those three were known as the CIA triad. You must also have heard this called the Iron Triangle. Much right? cooler name. Yes, much cooler name. I like Iron Triangle a whole lot better. For this episode, let's just stick with that. But yeah, okay. I like, <laughs> I like it. She's laying down ground rules. This is how it's going to The first roll. episode, I have to... Have you to say set, CIA set triad again, and you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I like Iron Triangle, so we'll stick with that. But this is the confidentiality, integrity, and availability concepts of the five elements that we're going to discuss today. So that said, let's start talking about that. Let's have that conversation and we'll build upon it as we move on. So the first one is going to be that idea of confidentiality. Confidentiality is definitely, if, you're, if you've ever seen a, a folder or something to that effect that has that label confidential on it, right? That's the main idea of what we're talking about here, that there is something inside that eyes only should be seeing. People that have the rights to see it should see it, and the people that don't should not be seeing it, right? So we're trying to maintain that level of confidentiality, which means that if Kathy shouldn't be seeing that information, that data, then if she does, we've lost the idea of confidentiality. It has been broken. And that is something we want to avoid. And we use mechanisms for doing that. The one main mechanism you're gonna see throughout all these different uh, concepts is going to be the idea of encryption. It pops up all the time because encryption is just so multifaceted. It can help with the idea of confidentiality. If I've encrypted the, the message, even if she gains access to it, she w shouldn't be able to read it anyway, right? Maintaining confidentiality. Um, let's move on to integrity, right? Um, Something you have little. Yes, I have little of. <laughs> <laughs> wow, besmirching my, my... First episode, I'm That's telling right. you, I'm laying down, <laughs> laying down the just, face. Just throwing shade. <laughs> out of the gate, right? Integrity though, definitely a great topic. An idea uh, behind it is also fundamental for what we're gonna do in cybersecurity. And that's the idea that the data, as it were, has not been changed or modified in any way, especially that it was an unauthorized way. That if someone, if, if I have authorization to work with the data and I make a change, then that's fine. It still has maintained its integrity, right? But if I make some data and I want to give it to Kathy and Kathy gets it and has been modified by somebody outside of those authorized people, well, now we've lost integrity. I can't trust that that data is good because integrity is all about us being able to trust in the data, right? So very important uh, uh, idea for us there. So usually we do this through, oh, uh, we, we can actually check whether or not that has been done through what's called hashing algorithms. It's basically math algorithms that create some sort of output. So you run it through, you, you take the data, you run it through a mathematical algorithm, and then it outputs a specific string of text, right? That's unique to that data. Well, if I can run the same mathematical algorithm that Kathy can, she sends me some data and she tells me, hey, here's what it should be. And I can check that and I say, oh, she's maintained the integrity of this, this has not been changed in transit, at rest, anywhere, right? So that's the idea of maintaining integrity. That's what we want, it's a good thing, right? And then of course, last but not least, with the iron triangle, <laughs> is gonna be availability. This is the idea that when data is necessarily needed to be gotten to, you can, it is there. I can, I can go and I can get it. 
right? It, 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 the really basic idea, and we'll get into this a little more uh, throughout the series. Uh, think of a denial of service attack. If I've shut down your ability to gain access to a website, the availability has been lost. It's no longer available to me. So maintaining availability is a super important and foundational concept that we need to be able to understand first that if I am offering a service or if I am offering data, that the people that have authorization to that service or data can actually get access to it, right? So that is the idea behind availability. So we've named three. We've got the three triad. in right. the box. <laughs> <laughs> so how do the other two elements fit into this picture? Yeah, so like I said, we kind of started off with that iron triangle, that CIA triad. And then we realized there were some other things that kind of always were a part of that, but we weren't calling them out specifically. We were they because they kind of fit under some of those other topics or they seem tertiary to that, but always ended up being a part of that conversation. Right. And that leads us to our other um, uh, things, which like authenticity. Right. So let's let's discuss authenticity. This is the idea that the data or the means of transit or the communication method that was used was authentic. It was something that we've all agreed upon. We know that it, th that was the right thing and that the users were authentic, that it really was Kathy that sent that thing, right? It really was her private key that was used to encrypt this. This is the idea of authenticity, right? That everything is as it says that it should be and was in actuality that thing. I know that seems a little abstract, but it's hard to get into the without calling out specific cases. And that's, that's an unfortunate side effect with a lot of stuff. When you get into conceptual ideas, it becomes very theoretical. And then as we get into more application, we'll see those theories applied in very specific ways. But really right now, you just need to understand the general ideas behind each one of these concepts, which is with authenticity, that it was those characteristics of communication, the data itself, the people that were involved, all that stuff were the actual means by which we expected it to be and not something else, meaning that maybe an attacker had gotten control over one of those or many of those things, maybe even all of those things, and started to manipulate things, right? So that's, that's the idea of authenticity. And last but not least, we have non-repudiation. This was another one that always kind of crept up and was a part of and, and should be, right? It's, it's really good. It kind of uh, falls under the idea of integrity, non-repudiation, right? With integrity, we're saying, hey, this is the thing. This is the data. We know it. We can verify it. And now we have, because that's what it is, we can use that idea of integrity to also have non-repudiation. So what is non-repudiation? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm following you. I like what you're saying. But what does it actually mean in, in real life land? Well, in real life land, it means that if Kathy sent me data, I can verify that it was Kathy that sent me the data. She cannot say it was not me, right? Mm -hmm. There are mechanisms that we use and it goes back to the idea of integrity. Well, she can take that data, run it through a hashing algorithm, give me that hashing algorithm, and then use her key. And there's, we're gonna get into how all this stuff. So I don't wanna get too deep in the weeds, but we use all these pieces of the puzzle to come together and create something that she cannot refute and that I cannot refute if I sent the data, and that's the idea of non-repudiation, right? That I can verify that it was Kathy who sent it to me, and that's good for me, because if someone were to gain access to the data, modify it in any way, or try to um, tell me it was Kathy, I can say, well, prove it. And there are means and mechanisms for us to use that they would have to have a lot of insight into to actually fool me into thinking it wasn't or that it was her when it wasn't right so that's the idea behind non-repudiation that we can verify that the person that sent the data is the person that sent the data and they cannot refute that hmm. can i try to try an example of that like try. if somebody's trying to steal something but they're like caught on video oh yeah right yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. Like, it is, is that you. you in the video you know of course you'd be like nah it ain't me that ain't me that ain't me at all uh, like person that looks like me well we did facial <laughs> recognition algorithms right and that would be an idea of non-repudiation they cannot refute through math and the and the different functionalities that they would use to prove that that was that actual person in that video that's the idea of non-repudiation you can't refute the math the science is clear it's very objective and that's the idea we have an objective being which to prove 
it was you, that simple thing, or committed those crimes that we know she does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us and teaching us those five main concepts. So what we learned today is the CIA triad or the iron triangle, I like to call it. Confidentiality, integrity, availability. And then we have those two that we added that kind of fit into the picture as well. Authenticity. I'm having trouble with words it. today. Non-repudiation. Is Nailed that right? It. Nailed that one. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.